You are dealt one card from a 52 card deck. Find the probability that you are not dealt number one, an ace, number two, a picture card, and number three, a red picture card. Now, the probability that you are not dealt an ace can be computed by finding the probability that you dealt an ace and subtract that from one. Therefore, the probability that you are not dealt an ace is equal to 1 minus the probability that you are dealt an ace. This is equal to 1 minus, now the probability that you are dealt an ace is equal to 4 over 52. Because if you look at the standard deck of cards, you have 52 cards in total. And among 52 cards, you have four aces. One, two, three, four. So therefore, the probability that you are dealt an ace is equal to four divided by 52, the total cards. Simplifying this will give us 48 over 52, which is equal to 12 over 13. Next, we find the probability that you are not dealt a picture card. The probability that you are not dealt a picture card is equal to 1 minus the probability that you are dealt a picture card. Now looking at this standard 52 card deck here, the probability that you are dealt a picture card can be computed by finding the total number of favorable outcomes, that is the total number of picture cards. In this case, we have 12 picture cards and divide that by the total number of cards, which is equal to 52. So the probability that you are dealt a picture card is equal to 12 over 52. Now plugging into this formula, we have one minus 12 over 52. This 12 over 52 is the probability that you are dealt a picture card. And then subtracting this, we get 40 over 52. You could think of 1 as 52 over 52, and then you subtract 52 minus 12, you get 40. Simplifying 40 over 52, you have 10 over 13. So the probability that you are not dealt a picture card is equal to 10 over 13. Then lastly, we will get the probability that you are not dealt a red picture card. The probability that you are not dealt a red picture card is equal to 1 minus the probability that you are dealt a red picture card. Now looking at this standard deck of cards, we can compute for the probability that you are dealt a red picture card. That is by counting the number of red picture cards. In this case, we have six red picture cards and divide that by the total number of cards, which is 52. So the probability that you are dealt a red picture card is equal to six over 52. Then we plug that into our formula here we have 1 minus 6 over 52. 6 over 52 is again the probability that you are dealt a red picture card. And simplifying this, we'll have 46 divided by 52, which can be reduced to lowest terms as 23 over 26. Consider the table below for the following problem. The table here shows the distribution by age of a random sample of 3,000 American goers ages 12 through 74. Now, if one movie goer is randomly selected from this population, find the probability expressed as simplified fraction that, number one, the movie goer is not in the 25 to 44 age range. And next, we want to find the probability that the moviegoer's age is less than 65. And lastly, we want to find the probability that the moviegoer's age is at least 25. 
To find the probability that the moviegoer is not in the age 25 to 44 age range, we will just use the formula here. The probability that the moviegoer is not in the 25 to 44 age range is equal to 1 minus the probability that the moviegoer is in the 25 to 44 age range. Now let's refer to the table here to find the probability that the moviegoer is in the 25 to 44 age range. To do that, we will use the, the formula for probability of an event E, which is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of all possible outcomes. So now in this case, the total number of possible outcomes is equal to the total number of American moviegoers in the survey, and that is equal to 3,000. And then the total number of favorable outcomes, that is the total number of people in the age range of 25 to 44. That is equal to 1,080. So therefore, the probability that the moviegoer is in the 25 to 44 age range is equal to 1,080 over 3,000. Now, plugging that into our formula here, we have 1 minus 1,080 divided by 3,000. This is just equal to 1,920 divided by 3,000 and simplify this further to 16 over 25. So therefore, the probability that the moviegoer is not in the 25 to 44 age range is equal to 16 over 25. Next, we will find the probability that the moviegoer's age is less than 65. To solve this, 1 minus the probability that the moviegoer is in the age range of 65 to 74. Notice that this is the only event that is that will not fall in the category that is less than 65. So therefore, we will just subtract the probability that the moviegoer is on this age range here from 1 to get the probability that the moviegoer's age is less than 65. So now let's compute first the, for the probability that the age of the moviegoer is between 65 to 74. And we will use the formula for probability of an event E to be equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So in this case, the favorable outcome, favorable to age 65 to 74, is the number, the number is 180. So we have 180 in that category, divided by the total number of possible outcomes. The total number of possible outcomes is equal to the total number of random sample in the survey, and that is equal to 3,000. We plug that into our formula here. So we have 1 minus 180 divided by 3,000. Simplifying this will give us 2,820 divided by 3,000, which you could further simplify as 47 over 50. Now lastly, we want to find the probability that the moviegoer's age is at least 25. So looking at the table here, the group of ages that is at least 25 are these range of ages here, 25 to 44, 45 to 64, and 65 to 74. So to get the probability that the moviegoer's age is at least 25, then what we're going to do is we are just going to get the probability that the moviegoer's age is on this age range, because that is the only age range that is 
less than 25 and then you subtract that from 1. So that is the probability that the moviegoer's age is at least 25 is equal to 1 minus the probability that the age of the moviegoer is between 12 to 24. Now let's get the probability that the age of the moviegoer is between 12 to 24. To do this, we will use again the formula that the probability of an event E is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Now in this case, the number of favorable outcomes is the number that falls into this category, which is equal to 900. And the total number of possible outcomes is the total number of sample in the survey, and that is equal to 3000. Now plugging that into our formula here, we have 1 minus 900 divided by 3000, which you can simplify as 2100 divided by 3000, and that is also equal to 7 over 10. So the probability that the mover goer's age is at least 25 is equal to 7 over 10.